Hello to my camera. I'm not standing in the light. There's my kitchen back there. Based on all of my observation, it seems that vlogging simply consists of talking to the camera with some sort of energetic personality while doing monotonous things throughout the day so that it seems entertaining. While it's not actually entertaining, that's my perception of it at the moment. Now, my life is, I mean, I guess it's interesting. I do a lot of things throughout the day and I drive far places for things. I think that I can manage to do this and be interesting and not be boring, but I don't know. So we're going to try. I, but I say that and I think that, and you know, I don't have anything to do. I need to clean the kitchen and I need to do some research about drum brakes and wheel cylinders and such on the computer. I don't know how people get famous doing this because this is utterly pointless, but you know, maybe I'm funny and maybe the cookies which I attempted to bake are pretty good. They're a little bit burnt. I don't think I did a good job. But they're not like, oh, yeah, yeah. I like them a little crispy anyway. I mean, that that's a that's a pretty crispy cookie right there, I'd say. Definitely not um, <laughs> the best job I could have done. It's so dark outside and in this house. That's a better angle for me, but I'm not reaching out all the time like this. Mmm. That's crunchy. That's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go learn about drum brakes. So what I have learned about wheel cylinders is that um, when they're going bad, you can um, you feel it in the brake pedal itself. When you push it down, it's mushy. You don't want mushy brakes because that's bad and they will not work <laughs> and then you'll die. I'll probably end up replacing them anyway, even if they are still good, but they don't cost very much to replace. So I, we can go to AutoZone. You can see in the background on the TV that I've had like, I've been watching vlogs. I've been watching different blogging YouTubers to get an idea of what they do to be entertaining and to have an audience. And I can't find a single reason why anyone would watch a vlogger. <laughs> Cause all they do is live life and complain to the camera. And the editing is not even really good. It, I mean, it's all right. It's not bad by any means, but it's not so good that it would compel me to watch the video. I think people are just bored. So many people are just bored and they watch other people live their lives. For some reason, I couldn't fathom why in the world, unless they had some kind of uh, innocuous lifestyle that was so entertaining, but none of them that I've seen do. Except, I mean, David Dobrik, obviously, he went back crap insane all the time, every vlog, all four minutes and 20 seconds of them. Um, but my goodness, it's either drama, complaining, or sometimes you get a nice philosophical conversation. Somebody, like, this is my perception of the world and this is how I think it should change. And then they take action. I'm like, yeah, you do that. You're doing good, unless it's some stupid movement that doesn't actually impact anything. It's just a, an excuse for complaining and having an uproar of people going sicko mode. I don't know, I'm very new here. Anyway, that was a lot of complaining. It makes me feel better having done the complaint. It's therapeutic, which that this experience also leads me to think upon other uh, instances of this happening. People who vlog are lonely, they're lonely. So they talk to the camera to entertain themselves so they don't feel like that they're alone. I do that. I do that with Snapchat all the time. And it's entertaining. People tell me, oh my gosh, Eli, you're hilarious. You, I love the, I love your little Snapchat vlogs. That's part of my theory. Vloggers are lonely people. And this is like a way of coping, but it's also a potentially very abundant financial means. Gosh, this hazelnut candle is the greatest thing that I've ever smelled in my life and I like it a bunch. How do I make this taller? I know I can do it. I've done it before. We're gonna try it without making it taller. There we go! There are several perks of being six and a half feet, roughly six, and I'm six four. But among those perks is not um, convenience of living. Anyway, what I mean to say is that this world was not built for people that are big and tall and lanky. Anyway, this, this right here is a shot glass. Now, do I use it for shots? No, 
I used this glass to crack eggs into because they were farm eggs, and sometimes farm eggs are bad eggs, no matter you know how quick you crack them. And I used this to see if they were bad eggs before I, I dumped them into my frying pan. I eat a lot of eggs. I know you didn't come here to learn about what I eat, but you'd be surprised how many people just vlog and talk about the food that they eat and draw crowds of hundreds of thousands of people to watch them talk about the food that they're eating. It's remarkable what people will watch today for entertainment. I'm willing to wager that you could YouTube search cat farting and you will find a compilation of videos of cats farting and it will have more than one million views. Some of the kids who I went to school with are gonna see this and be like, what, what happened to Eli? Did he start doing drugs? Why is he the way he is? I got bored. That's part of my theory. Vloggers are lonely people. Eli, they're gonna use the phrase came out of his shell, which I hate. I hate that phrase. I hate it so much because it's generic and unauthentic and I don't have a shell. I didn't have a personality. I was still marinating. I was like a, a caterpillar in the cocoon that would soon become a marvelous butterfly. You wanna be extra careful when cleaning the pizza cutter. As I'm standing in this house washing my dishes, I feel the need to speak to my future self because the first videos that people put up on their vlog channels are not very good until years later when they have fans and subscribers and the subscribers want to see where they began, or where they started or what their content was like in the beginning. And to myself, and to those of you who are watching from the future, did I do good? Are you doing good, Eli? Are you winning, YouTube? Did you buy the car that you wanted? If you did, was it worth it? I know how much you work, and I know all the time that you dedicate and the effort that you put in, not even to YouTube, but to every aspect of your life. And I just want to tell you, future self, I'm praying for you. And I think, and I know that you're going to do something amazing. And when you look back on this, you're going to be proud of yourself. No, you're going to be thankful to God for the work that he allowed you to do and the goodness that he blessed you with. And anybody else who's watching this at any point in time, I wish the same blessing for you. Regardless of where you live or what you did or what you're gonna do. I want nothing more than for God himself to make himself known in your life in a spectacular way so that the world as a whole can be a better place. Now that we've established there why there are so many reasons that vloggers should not be famous, I don't know, this video is pointless. All vlogs are pointless. They're only meant to be entertaining. If you didn't find that entertaining, you wasted your time. It's not my fault you're a loser. I'm not mean, I promise. I'm going to do my laundry. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let that get in focus. It's much later now than it was, um, well, many hours ago. <laughs> I went to church. It was a fun time. I ate Taco Bell. Um, I guess this is the end of the vlog. I complained about why vloggers shouldn't exist, and yet here I am, or why they shouldn't be famous. Although, it would be entertaining to get famous. Um, but thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs> Maybe this was entertaining in some part, probably not, but we're gonna see how it goes. Everybody has to start somewhere, and the beginning is probably the best place. So thank you again. Um, God bless. There's the tagline, I guess.